hello guys welcome to dtw tutorials welcome okay so in today's video we're going to be looking at calculus again and uh, rules of differentiation we're going to be looking at the chain rule okay i've done the first rule which is the direct rule now this is the second rule which is the chain rule all right we're going to do in this video but before we get on to the video if it's your first time on this channel DTW Tutorials, an educational channel on YouTube where we support students preparing for your YEC, your GC, your JAM, your WATS, your POSUEMI, name it. We're supporting your education with free videos on maths and physics. So please, if you've not subscribed, if you're not subscribed yet, please kindly click the subscribe button. It's absolutely free to subscribe. And please do give this video a thumbs up if you like this video and also share this channel with your friends, family and loved ones. We have over over 200 videos educational videos for you that would help you several past questions solve on jam on your yek your what that will also help you even the current one uh, that's for last year 2019 your yek maths it's solved on the channel also jam for the maths 2019 also so is on the channel that will help you for your forthcoming exams this year all right so please try to click subscribe button to support us to grow to do more okay and uh, if you have any questions please feel free to comment below or if you want to say a thank you or anything please engage with the video right engage please because it helps in promoting um, the video uh, the channel on YouTube all right okay so let's get on to the video now so today we're going to be talking about the chain rule all right and um, as i've explained earlier on from uh, the direct rule in direct rule you only you apply the direct rule to things like this where you have y is equal to x um, raised to the power n and when you have um, uh, let's say you have like an algebraic um, expression like y is equal to 3x raised to the power 3 plus maybe 2x raised to the power 2 minus uh, let's say x uh, n minus x so you can apply the direct rule to this because of the the operations binding this is the, the addition and the uh, subtraction but when it comes to when you have something like this when you have x minus 1 or then raised to a power you can see this you have x minus 1 is subtraction then everything raised to a power what rule of differentiation would you apply to so to get the der derivative of this and this is what's the chain rule that's what we're going to use all right and what does the chain rule um states okay this chain rule states that what the y the x is equal to what the y the u times the u the x okay where you see if when you cancel out the u the x you're going to get what the y the x okay sorry when you cancel out the u the u here you're going to get the y the x okay so this is the formula we're going to use this is the chain rule okay that we apply to to algebraic um expressions that are in powers all right so uh, let, let's do an example so you understand you get okay let's say for instance you have y is equal to uh, open the bracket 3x minus 6 all raised to power 4 how do you get the derivative of this okay so first of all you have to say okay that y is equal to you see all this in the brackets you equate it to what u all right you make all this in the bracket that's u is equal to what 3x minus what 6 so it means y will be equal to u raised to power 4 are you following me then now to get the y the u which is this okay is equal to remember in our direct rule differentiation you know how to differentiate please make sure you watch the first video before this because it's very very critical and you have to understand the first video before you watch this please try to watch out I'll, I'll leave the link of the first video on direct rule okay so to differentiate this what would this be to be 4 you bring the 4 times whatever coefficient is here you have 4 okay u then it will be a 4 minus 1 okay i'm not supposed to do this but uh, you know for let me just do it. let me just do it okay so it is 4 u raised to power of what 3 okay you just subtract 1 from 4 all right so this is our dy d u now let us get our du d 
x okay how do you dx remember as i said earlier on a constant the derivative of a constant is will always give us what zero okay and here we have three x what's the derivative of this x is raised to a power of what one is that not it so one times three will give us what a three and what is left we have to subtract one from this power which is one and one minus one is what zero and x raised to power zero is is what one anything raised to power zero is one so it is three times what one which is equal to three so our du dx is equal to three so now let's get our dy dx so our dy the x is equal to what is our dy du our dy du is what 4 u 4 u raised to power 3 times what is our du dx from our formula our du dx is what 3 so from here what do we have 4 times 3 we have what a 12 what u raised to power 3 and don't forget what is u u is equal to what 3x minus 6 that's u okay so finally our answer will be what 12 bracket 3x minus 6 close the bracket raised to power of 3 so this is our answer okay the derivative of this this is the answer okay let's try to do another one okay let's do another one all right let's say we're to find the derivative of y is equal to uh the square root of 2 open the bracket minus x raised to power 3 close the bracket okay so from here let us simplify this all right in simplifying this what do we have this is likened to it is 2 minus x raised to power 3 all into bracket a power of what 2 so from here this is u is that not it u is equal to what u is equal to 2 minus x raised to power 3 okay so it means here we have y is equal to what u raised to the power of what half all right that's the um, u that's the square root of u okay i hope you know this in indices when you have a square root like this this is what raised to the power of what half okay so you have u raised to the power of what half now let's find the y du and find the u the x now you, you can see we're finding the y in respect to u and here we are finding what du in respect to what x that's why it is du dx so here dy du is equal to what half will multiply okay we have half all right u then half minus one what is what would, what would that give us half minus one that will give us what a minus what half is that not it okay so this is our differentiation for what du d dy du now let's look for du dx the u dx is the the um different the, the derivative of two is a zero okay because it's a constant then let's find the derivative of minus x3 okay minus x raised to power three don't forget this minus don't leave out this minus this mouse is with this particular power of x raised to power three okay so we have here this will give us minus what three x raised to power of what two you subtract one from the power and we have what two okay so du dx is equal to minus what three x square all right so so these are derivative of what you so now let's find a uh, dy dx okay so dy dx is equal to what what is dy du dy du is one over two u raised to the power minus 1 over 2 okay and the u dx is what minus times minus 3x let's cut this out my times minus 3x raised to the power 2 okay so from here let's try to know you know simplify this so this is a negative power we can bring this negative power down remember indices okay and 2 remains down to so we have here minus 3 what will be in our numerator to be minus 3x square divided by what will be in our denominator we have a 2 remember the half and we're bringing this minus this minus this half down so we have u raised to power so we have u raised to power 1 over 2 okay so from here this is what minus 3x square divided by 2 raised to power uh, any any power raised to half is what the square root okay that square root of what u and don't forget what is u 
from here this is our u okay so we have finally as our answers minus 3 x squared divided by 2 all the square root of what 2 minus 3 uh, minus x raised to power 3 open the bracket and close the bracket okay you have to write this this way okay so this is our final answer all right so, so we have minus 3x squared divided by 2 times the square root of what 2 minus x raised to power 3 so, so this is the so this is the derivative of this particular expression here so this is our answer and, um, and i want you guys to try this okay try this try this do this on your own and uh, leave your answers in the comment try this 3x okay plus 5 all raised to power 6 okay try to find the derivative of this okay and leave your answers in the comment all right try after you watch this video you know sit down sit down right you know it's not all about watching videos yeah you watch videos for understanding but you need to put pen to paper you need to practice it's very key okay so please kindly practice and practice okay do this and um let me know your answers in the comment all right all right thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video all right and um our next rule is definitely the product rule which we are going to be looking at and the product rule is a combination of both your chain rule and your direct rule so you can see you have to watch these videos sequen sequentially okay from your direct rule to your chain rule then to the product rule then you see also that the last rule which is the quotient rule you also apply the product rule and the chain rule and the direct rule all right okay so uh, please try to watch the first video if you haven't watched it that's the direct rule i'm going to leave the link in the video description box below all right so thank you for staying tuned and don't forget jesus christ is coming soon give your life to christ for he is the way he is the truth and is the life and is the one who will lead you to heaven at last. All right, thank you, and see you in our next video. Don't also forget to subscribe and share this channel and give this video a thumbs up. And please try to try this particular question, okay? And leave your answers in the comments below. Thank you.